from London, this is Q Live. Britain, get ready to play. Q Live. I'm Marina Berry. It's 1 p.m. and today is Opera's birthday. Oh, I do love opera. Uh, Catherine Jenkins, Pavarotti. Um, I love, oh, 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 it's Oprah's, bir Oprah's birthday. Not opera. Oh, oh, it's Oprah's birthday. Well, that's awkward, isn't it? Um, prefer, prefer opera. I like opera. Um, anyway, to celebrate, we're giving away £500. You know the deal. I'm going to ask you 12 questions. Very easy to very hard. You'll have 10 seconds to tap each answer. If you get all 12 right, you will win or split the cash. Now, before we get started, let's find out the winner of yesterday's Golden Q. Reese, eight. Congratulations to you. You've just won yourself 50 pounds. That's all right, isn't it? Now, I've hidden another Golden Q somewhere in today's show. Get that question right and you could be selected to win a bonus 50 pounds. So, even if you've already been eliminated, keep playing the game for your chance to win. Before I forget, don't miss our mini show, The Free at 3 at 3 p.m. All you have to do is answer three questions correctly to win a life. So join me at 3. But right now, it's time for the game that stops the nation. This could be your lucky day. Get ready to play. Seven and a half thousand of you ready to win that 500 pounds. Without further ado, here's Q1. By which of these nicknames was singer Michael Jackson commonly known? Lord of Rock, Duke of Jazz, or King of Pop? Now, Jackson paid $47 million for the publishing rights to the Beatles back catalogue in 1985, and he sold a share to Sony for $95 million. Mm. King of Pop is the answer, of course. Q2. The 2007 film Ratatouille is predominantly set in which of these locations? Hospital, restaurant or school? Now, to save on time, the artist at Pixar skipped one detail. Do you know what it is? None of the human characters have any toes. Oh, yeah, they've got no toes. They're toeless. The answer is restaurant. Now, next up, we have a game of Q, do you think you are? Take a look at this famous face because your question is about to pop right up. Q3. Who is this sports broadcaster? Sue Barker, Gabby Logan, Claire Balding. Three famous ladies in the world of sports. But which one are we looking for? I actually do know all three of those ladies, despite the fact I absolutely cannot stand sport. The answer is Claire Balding. Uh, well done if you got that right. Don't forget, I've hidden one golden cue somewhere in today's show. If you get that right, you could win a £50 bonus, even if you've already been knocked out. Let's get back to the game. Q4. What was the name of the character played by Pamela Anderson in the TV series Baywatch? CJ, PJ or SJ? Now, in the 90s, Baywatch was like the most watched show on the planet, wasn't it? I remember the theme tune, uh, the, the ladies in the red in the red swimsuit, it's the Hasselhoff. The answer is CJ. That was my little Baywatch run there. Uh, Q5. What cricket format is played in the Australian Big Bash League? 2020, one day or test? Do you know, 80,000 people, 80,000 people turned up for a Big Bash League game, Boxing Day 2015. It smashed the previous record by 28,000 people. And uh, the answer is 2020. If you're still in the game, well done and good luck. Q6. What is the name of the international treaty that commits state parties to reduce greenhouse gas emissions? Cartagena Pact, Minamata Accord or Kyoto Protocol? Now, speaking of gases, bison, deer and sheep emit methane into the atmosphere. So do I after a curry. What? Who wrote that on the autocue? Oh. The answer is Kyoto Protocol. Well done if you got that right. Six down, six to go. Don't forget, every day this week at 7pm, we'll be bringing you a new mini game called The Spelling Cue. Simply spell six words and you could win some cash. But right now, let's play for £500. Q7. 
In 2016, who was commissioned to bake the Queen's 90th birthday cake? Nadia Hussain, Ruth Rogers or Mary Berry? So three famous ladies known for their baking skills, but which one was responsible for Lizzie's birthday cake? I actually made a Victoria sponge not long ago. Absolute disaster it was. Absolute disaster. It tasted nice though. Nadia Hussain is the answer. Let's take a look, shall we, at that famous cake. Look, it's not even funny, but look at the way the Queen is trying to cut that cake. It's like she's never, she's never, never held a knife before in her life. <laughs> I mean, she is 90 to be fair. Uh, next up, we have a game of Cue the Music. Take a look at this famous album cover because your question is about to pop right up. Q8. On that Blur album cover, where was drummer Dave Roundtree? Top left, bottom right, or top right? So that's the cover of the album The Best of Blur, which came out in 2000. And hey, did you know, bass player Alex James is a cheese fanatic. He even makes his own cheese. Uh, the answer is bottom right. So how observant were you there? If you got knocked out on that question, use your extra life right now to get back into the game. Now it's time for question nine. Oh, it's a golden cue. This is worth 50 pounds to one player, even if you've already been eliminated. So get ready, because here we go. Q9. Which of these capital cities is not on mainland Africa? Porto Novo, Niamey, or Moroni? Now, this is worth £50 to one player, even if you've already been knocked out. How are you on your, uh, your capital cities? You good? Do you know this one? It's Moroni. So well done if you got that right. Amy will be announcing today's winner tomorrow at 1. Let's get back to the game. Q10. In the titles of the Eon production James Bond film, which of these exact words appears the least number of times in total? Live, kill, or love? Who's your favourite James Bond? Everyone's got their favourite. What, Sean Connery, Pierce Brosnan, Roger Moore, Daniel Craig? Mine is Pierce Brosnan. Sorry, but there doesn't, no one even comes a close second to him. I think it's his eyes. Uh, love is the answer we were looking for there. Q11. Which of the following songs has not won the Eurovision Song Contest? Diggy Lou, Diggy Lay, Ring Ding a Ding, or Ding a Dong? <laughs> you know how hard that was to say all three of those without making a mistake. Get this right, you'll be one question, one correct answer even, away from £500. Do you know your Eurovision? Do you love it? Ring Ding a Ding is the answer. Um, if you got that right, you've made it to the final question. You've not done very well. You've done very well! It's time to see if you can beat the kid. So 52 of you still in the game, in with a chance of winning that £500. So I wish you the very best of luck. Here's Q12. Which of these Roman emperors was in power between the other two? Titus, Galba or Nerva? How good are you with your history? Do you know your Roman emperors? This is for £500. Is this a wild guess? I can reveal the answer is Titus. 20 of you, well done. Congratulations, you'll be sharing 500 pounds between you. Don't forget, we love to see our winners, all right? So send us a video of you celebrating, and you know what? We'll give you a free life, just like that. I'll be back at 3 p.m. with a free at three. Answer three questions in a row, and win a free life. Easy as that. Uh, also, happy birthday to my dad, Colin Berry. Uh, he's going to have a pie and mash, there he is. There's is Colin, my daddy. Um, anyway, he's going to have pie mash today. I love pie mash. Um, I'll take you up for, uh, for dinner soon, Dad. Uh, until then, I've been Marina Berry. You've been extraordinary. I will see you at 3 p.m.